What do we know about the Outlander End of Summer series? What shocking turn of events did Diana Gabaldon tease? And why should we expect even more drama in Season 6? Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's talk about the latest news concerning our favorite show. Behind the scenes details aplenty. To keep fans entertained during the current Droughtlander, a four-part End of Summer series has recently kicked off. Since August 23, a new episode is released each Sunday on the Outlander Collector Facebook page and takes a different look into the world of Outlander and what it takes to make the show. It's worth noting that, apart from entertaining Outlander fans, the End of Summer series benefits Doctors Without Borders by supporting their COVID-19 medical efforts. In the first episode, Book Corner, fans learned about the process of adapting the best-selling novels to the series. Diana Gabaldon and Outlander's executive producer, Meryl Davis, also discussed their favorite moments from the show. For Davis, it was watching Jamie and Claire fall in love in season one. She also revealed details about filming the iconic scene in which Claire goes through the stones for the first time. Davis shared that although they didn't have a wind machine, every time they started filming, it would magically get windy. And Diana Gabaldon's favorite moment was from the first season, where Claire took care of Jamie's dislocated shoulder. By the way, it turns out that Gabaldon pictures neither Sam Hewen or Katrina Balfe when she writes about Claire and Jamie in her novels. For her, they're completely different characters. And that's probably why she also takes all the changes made on the show pretty lightly. However, she isn't actually thrilled by them. For example, in the books, Jamie's godfather and best friend, Murtaugh, died in the Battle of Culloden, and in the show's fifth season, they changed this storyline by having Murtaugh live on. Davis explained that they felt that Jamie needed someone else besides Claire to confide in, so Gabaldon agreed to this change, although she never thought of resurrecting Murtaugh in the novels. The shocking news about our favorite character. In the premiere episode of End of Summer, Diana Gabaldon revealed something that made Davis's jaw actually drop. You might already know that the author is currently finishing her ninth book of the Outlander series, Go Tell the Bees That I Am Gone. So Meryl Davis asked how Gabaldon would describe her next novel in five or fewer words, and the answer was, he's still alive. Of course, she was talking about Jamie. So the question popped up immediately, what about Claire? Davis said, but you didn't say Claire survives. And Gabaldon responded, no, I didn't. The Outlander producer was definitely shocked and confessed that the news made her nervous and sweaty. And we feel the same way, right? Outlander Kitchen Cookbook Series The second episode aired on August 30th and featured actors Lauren Lyle and John Bell. The two were the special guests at this virtual cooking class hosted by the author of the Outlander Kitchen Cookbook Series, Teresa Carl Sanders. The dish she cooked was a historically inspired good old fish and chips. And guess what? Both actors revealed that it was one of their favorite meals and affectionately called it Chippy. Fried fish is such a Scottish thing. We grew up yeah, on yeah, Chippy. Of course, there were some other revelations like which of the Outlander dinner party scenes inspired Teresa Carl Sanders to write the cookbook and what Lauren Lyle thinks about every time she hears her character's name. The next episode promises to be even more interesting as it will feature the series composer Bear McCreary and singer Raya Yarbrough, who will discuss their favorite Outlander musical moments. They will be joined by Maria Doyle Kennedy and the 12 original singers of the breathtaking new version of the Sky Boat song from the fifth season. But the most exciting episode of the End of Summer series will definitely be the last one. The Outlander leads, Katrina Balfe and Sam Hewen, will discuss their favorite moments from the past five seasons and answer fan questions from around the world. What to expect from Outlander Season 6? Unfortunately, there are no official plot details available about the next season, so all we're left with are theories. However, it's very likely that it will follow the sixth book in Diana Gabaldon's series. A Breath of Snow and Ashes, which was released 15 years ago. But we all know that the show doesn't stick rigidly to the source material and has many deviations from the books. By the way, during a panel hosted by Deadline, Sam Hewen revealed that, for him, Murtaugh's storyline is one of the most important, despite not featuring in the novels. For me and for Jamie, it's one of the strongest storylines we've had for him. Jamie's losing a part of himself, he's losing his father figure, his confidant, and someone who has been there from the beginning. And it seems like it's not the last tragedy in Jamie's life. Showrunner Matthew Roberts teased that, apart from dealing with the rebellions of the war for independence and personal struggles, there could be even more trauma to come. There are going to be joys, there's going to be drama, there's going to be suffering, there's going to be tears, he said. All of the above. The cast and crew of Outlander are desperate to get back to work on season 6. For example, Richard Rankin said that his character Roger couldn't be more ready for the Revolutionary War. So when will it happen? When will Outlander season 6 be released? 
Sadly, filming for season 6 is currently on hold due to the pandemic. In an interview this June, Sam Hewen explained, We were supposed to be shooting right now, and obviously things are still slightly up in the air, but I'm hopeful that we're going to be back before we know it. So yes, this time the Droughtlander is going to last until at least 2021, and just like season 5, the next one will have 12 episodes. However, there's also some good news. Deadline reported that Jeffrey Hirsch, president and CEO of Stars, is open to the idea of developing a seventh season, as long as the fans continue to crave the story. Moreover, in the premiere episode of the End of Summer series, Diana Gabaldon revealed that in addition to finishing the ninth book in the Outlander series, she started writing Book 10 and she has started the Outlander prequel about Jamie's parents, so the Outlander universe might soon be expanding on screen as well. Which story do you want to be filmed first? Let us know in the comments, and thank you for staying with Awesome Movies!